All right, in this video today, I'm going to explain the rules on how to play a game called Making Tens. All you need is a deck of cards and a group of students. The deck of cards you need to go through beforehand and take out all of the face cards. Take out all of the jacks, queens, and kings. You will keep the aces in the deck, and the aces are going to equal one. To set this game up, the teacher or a student that the teacher assigns will lay out eight cards, like is shown in this picture. This is an individual game, so one person will go at a time. So you can have the eight cards laid out, and then the first person in line will go first, and you'll just have the rest of the class in a line behind them. You can also break up into small groups and just do it with a couple students. But one person will go at a time. That person's job is to make tens. That's why the game is called Making Tens. So if your deck looked like this, you would make ten in as many ways as you can. So you see that there's a 10 right there, so I would take that one, that counts as one point. Take the other 10, that counts as one point as well. Then you see the 2 and the 8, you could combine those and that makes 10, so that's 3 points. And then see if you can find another 10, there's one more in there, see if you can find it. If you guess that you could take the 9 and the ace to make 10, you are correct. Remember, the ace equals 1, 9 plus 1 is 10. Now I will show you a quick example of what this could look like with a couple students. Go. One, ten, a nine and a ace is, well, is ten, that's a ten, two and an eight is ten. Okay, so she got four points, and the teacher's going to replenish the cards for the next student to go. All right, go ahead. Five and five, that's ten. Seven and three, and seven and three. So she got three points. So we're gonna do it one more time. And remember, aces equal ones. Aces are ones. So he's got the 10, that's one point. That's another 10, another point. A two and eight, that's a point. And I think that's all that can be done. Okay, so you'll keep track of your own points and you're just going to see how many different ways you can make 10. This is just a reminder that if you have a two and a two and a six, you can take all three of them. It doesn't have to just be two cards with equal 10. Anything that adds up to equal 10, you can use those. All right, good luck and have fun.